Welcome back, everybody, to Unconditional Surrender, me, myself, and I playthrough for the main event scenario. We are getting ready to go into the Soviet operations phase. Uh, before we had to go there, I realized at the end of the last turn for the West, when I was taking, I pushed a little bit long, went up to 40 minutes, and forgot to finish the operations phase for them. Um, I went ahead and did their convoys, uh, not on film. Um, it's basically, everything is at four. And that covered me for 19 units that I have. Uh, six in northern Italy going into Germany and uh, uh, 13 sitting in uh, France because of uh, this guy. And this guy taking me up to 13. Uh, gets me all the way up to 19. So, a uh, little overstretching my supplies. I might run into trouble here in a little bit. Might have to fly some airplanes out of country like the bombers but we'll see see how far I can go all right and then we're gonna go right into the Soviet turn um, first thing Soviets are gonna do is bring up their national track I've got my timer running so I'm gonna try and do the Soviets relatively quickly uh, probably is gonna end up being split into two turns because there's just so much to do over here uh, let's zoom in so we can see our combats uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to activate six tanks. Um, he starts off at plus two for armor. And he gets plus two because the guy's isolated. And it's minus one for the city. The guy is German, so he's plus two, but he's minus two because he's at low supply. So it's a plus three to a zero. And that costs me three movement points, so I have seven left. Keep track of that. And the Russian tank army rolls. A 2 plus 3 is a 5. And the NOR unit rolls a 6 and says, not today. So I will spend 3 more. And try again. The Russians roll. A 3 plus 3 is a 6. And the NOR unit rolls a 6. So it, again, it says, not today. And we'll try it one more time. Plus 3 to 0. 2 plus 3 is a 5. And the Germans roll a 4. So 3 attacks and absolutely nothing happened. Wow. Strong German. Oh, um, the German 16th here should be out of supply. I'm sorry. There's no way he could be in supply. So, um, that didn't work well for me. Um, let's see if this one works well. We'll have the first shock army go in at plus three to minus two. Um, Vaslov is normally plus two for German, minus two for being a garrison, and he's in low supply, so he's another minus two. And then the shock army is plus one because it's elite, plus one because it's shock and fair, and the guy's isolated, so he's plus four, minus one for the city, he's plus three. So it's plus three to plus two. Let's move this map over so we can see this. All right, plus three to plus two. Russian draw. Five plus three is an eight. At minus two, best he can get to four. That's at least a DR, so he will be removed. Um, this is a question I kind of have on this whole business here. Um, I'm not 100% sure, but I am playing that since the airplane is in low supply, he would only have five movement points, and five movement points cannot get him back into any rail lines where he would be legally allowed to fly. So I am removing him to the faction card. Um, I do not think he can be um, and the shock army will take it. He has absolutely he has it exactly one movement point left, so he'll just move to twenty one forty five. And that cost me also a production point to move him, so I'm down to forty five. Okay. Um, well, I think I'll try again with this shock army here. We'll attack um, this guy. Who's at the 16th? So the 16th is at zero because he's plus two for German, minus two for being out of supply. And I'm at plus three again. Plus one for shock, plus one for elite. Plus two because the guy's isolated, minus one for the swamp. 
plus three to zero, and that costs me three movement points, so I have five left, so I only get to attack twice. And I roll. A two plus three is a five. Oh, the Germans rolled a two. How nice of them. So they are flipped. Five to two is a DR. He can't retreat, so he's flipped. Now he's minus two, because of low supply and being flipped. Um, and I'm still at plus three, so Russians roll. Six plus three is a nine at minus two. The best he can get is a four. It will be a true retreat, so he will lose the unit. And he will lose a will point. Takes him down to 39. And this goes away. So that cost me another three to do that, so I have two movement points left. And so I will use those to move to 2542. Okay. Um, comes the other things I need to try to do here. Uh, one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I can just go capture that seat. Maybe I should do that. I'm going to activate this infantry. He's going to go one, two, three, four, five, six down the rail line, seven, eight into Riga. Capture that, and that has the effect of giving me. Oh, I hit them up. That gives me an extra. Uh, my factory count goes up by one. Um, the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to activate this shock army. Um, he's basically cost three to do that, so he has five left. He's plus three to uh, a zero. Uh, not a minus two. Zero. Come on, zero. Plus three to zero. The shock army rolls. Uh, 6 plus 3 is a 9, and the Germans are all a 6. 9 to a 6, I believe, is a DR. So this. So now the Nor unit is flipped, which will make him minus 2 to my plus 3, and that costs me 3 more movement points. So I will roll. Three plus three is a six at minus two. The best he can get is a four. Six to a four is at least a DR, so he will be eliminated, and he will lose another willpower. And I will take the hex. And that also gives me another factory. So yay, I want two factories. Um, I'm trying to think of the best way to do this. This guy goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yep, well, there. So you'll be isolated. So I'll activate the third tanks. Go one, two, three, four, five into Vilnius. That leaves me with five. So it's three, four, five into Vilnius. Vilnius is actually isolated because of zones control and nobody adjacent to him. So I'm plus three, plus two more for that, minus one for the city, and he's at a zero because he's a garrison. Uh, plus four to zero. Is that good enough? Or should I use an airplane? really want to try and save the airplanes to use for the real infantry, so I'm going to take my chances. Plus four to zero. Four plus four is an eight. And he rolled a two. Uh, eight to a two is a DD, so it's not even a matter of him being surrounded. It's just gone. So another garrison bites the dust. No will points for that. Um, 
What have I got left? Six movement? Five movement points. So if I take that... Take the hex, move one, and attack the sixth, I guess. Take the hex, move one here. So that takes me to four movement points. And then I'm going to attack the six because he doesn't have any train. So that's two more. And then I'm plus three to his plus two. And I can throw in... Do I need airplanes up here? I, might. I think I'll throw in... Yeah, this airplane can barely reach there, so we'll go ahead and use him. And that gives me another extra plus two. So I'm plus five to plus two because there's no terrain in that hex. So plus five to plus two, the Russians are all. A one plus five is a six. The Germans are all a five and say, not today. And the Germans, Russians say, go ahead, we'll try it again. We'll use this airplane up here. We really want to try and do some damage to him. So plus five to plus two again. Five plus five is a ten. Germans roll. 4 plus 2 is a 6. 10 to a 6 is only a DR. Um, he's got more mobile units, so I think I want to go here to try and keep him from doing much. And the tank will go ahead and take space, clear the way for other attackers. Because there will be some. Um, get one attack. One, two, three, four, five. I only get one attack with the 4th Guards Army. Well, that's disheartening. Uh, before I do that, I do need to take a quick check here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I should be down to 30. taking off my points there. Um, <laughs> well, one thing I do need to do before I go any farther is I need to fly like this airplane up to here, take a sortie, and I need to fly this airplane like up to Serenati and take a sortie, and then I'm going to activate the first guard's army, guard's tank army, for two. We're going to attack the Romanians. We are at plus two to his zero. Cost me three movement points, so I have seven left. So we'll go ahead and try this. Three plus two is a five. Remains roll of four, so they say no thank you. So we'll do it again. Four plus two is a six. And they roll a 5 again. It's my last 3 movement points. This is disgusting. 6 plus 2 is an 8. And they roll a 1. <laughs> they held out for so long. Um, I'm an 8 to a 1. So he's just DD'd. So he's flipped, and then they retreat into Bucharest. And of course, I'll take the hacks because that's just that's insane. These guys are insanely good. My God, how do I do this? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, with a tanks marker. I guess so. I need to use the tank for something else. I'm going to activate the 10th Army. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Actually, not the 10th, um, the 4th. He goes 1 into 30, 41 to get on the rail, and then 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And we'll throw a tanks marker.
and I really want to take that capital, so I'm going to actually throw in an airplane. I should have probably done that earlier. Um, so I'm plus four net. Plus one because I'm elite. Plus two because I think I'm a tank. Plus two because I think I'm an airplane. Or I threw in an airplane. And then minus one for the city. And he's at minus two because he's remaining in a foot. So we roll. Russians roll a four, plus four is an eight. Um, the Romanians roll a three, minus two is a one, and eight to a one is a DD, so this thing actually goes Kaputsk. Goes on to the faction track. Um, he will take the hex. There's a control marker. And. Um, Sorry about the background noise. My sons don't seem to be able to control their volume. If you'll pardon me for just a moment. Okay. Um, tank marker has to go on the turn track. And... We're done with that for now. Oh, we'll, we'll power the Romanians. Uh, goes down one for the unit that I eliminated, then one, two, three, four more. If I can kill this Romanian, then they're gone. Which is what I'm thinking of doing. Uh, one, two, three, four. Two, three, four, five, six. So before I do that, I want to push something. Do I really want to push a shock unit there? Two, three, four, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. I'm going to put the third shock army. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He goes there. So that's another point. I think I'm down more than this. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14. Should be down 14. 48, so I'm at 34. Um, and then I'm going to activate this armored unit, too. He goes along the rail. 1, 2, 3. And then 4, 5, 6. So he has 4 left. And he's attacking the Romanian at uh, plus 2 because he's armor. Oops. Plus 2 because he's armor. Remaining's at minus two because he's remaining and he's flipped. Plus two because he's armor. Plus two because the guy's isolated. Minus one for the train. So it's plus three to minus two. I am not going to use an airplane there. And I roll. Four plus three is a seven. Best he can roll is a four. If you look at the combat results table, seven to a four is at least a DR. He cannot retreat, so he would be eliminated. Put on the eliminated box. And then he would have to lose a will point, which will put them to zero, which means they're gone. So they collapse, and I have cities of there, so they are defeated, conquered. Um, I have four moving points left, so I don't think I'm going to take that hat. I'm going to do something else. Run towards the Hungarian border, maybe. do that just to be annoying. If you to throw Hungarian there, I'll have to kill it. Alright. That's the rest of my movement points there. Oh, the Hungarians are gone, and then there's a Hungarian sitting over here in low supply that would have died anyway this turn, so he goes away. And I'm going to have to spend one more point here uh, to move this infantry. One, two, three. And that will just keep this guy, he'll go to no supply next turn and then die. So, he can attack me at low supply across the river, or he can just pass into oblivion.
All right, so that's that stuff. Um, hmm. I believe I want to try to try to see how much time I have left to time this right, so I don't do too many. Try to do too much all at once. Uh, basically, I'm going to get in like one more series of attacks here. I think. Um, I'd really like to try to take Connors. Three, four, five. I only get one attack there. Uh, one, two, three, six, seven, eight, nine. I won't get one attack there. Four. I could get two attacks with him. One, two, three, four, five. Six. Okay, and I have two tanks markers left. Okay. So, um, with that in mind, oh, I think I'm going to take my pot shot at breast. Oh, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So I'm going to use both tank markers here. Yeah. Let's see what happens. That's a guards unit. So, let's bring down to 29. Go to combat commitment. I will toss in my tanks marker. And this is a factory city, so I'm going to throw in last airplane. I really want to save that for Connus. Yeah, let's go after Brest. So, just this one, two, three, four, five. But I could use that airplane. Nah, I use the one in the north. I think I can invest around Connus. Let's see what happens. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have three movement points left. I am plus one because I'm elite, plus two for tanks, uh, plus two for an aircraft, and then minus one because I used up my last aircraft there. So I'm plus four to his plus two. And the Russian troll. Four plus two is a six. Rolled a two, and he rolled a five, so he goes, no. Um, I don't have any more. I can use this airplane. Uh, oh, not there. I need to turn track. That's annoying. I hope I've released a retreat. Oh, well. Maybe I won't take rest this turn. Um, I was thinking I'm going to try and do in his panzer. Maybe, if I'm lucky. I'm going to throw those partisans on the fourth panzer there. And then we're going to take this guard's tank army, the fifth, and go uh, one, two, three, four, five into the vault. And then six, seven attacks the armor with the partisan on it, the one to the north that doesn't have any terrain on it. So I'm a plus three. I'm going to throw in my aircraft. So I become a plus five, and he's a net of plus two. Plus two for German, plus two for armor, minus two for Parson. And that cost me seven, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I have three movement points left. And the Russians are all. Four plus five is a nine. Germans are all. Five plus two is a seven. And a 9 to a 7 is a diamond. Wouldn't you know? So the Russians will do it again, throw in their airplane for the last time. And the Russians roll. A 1 plus 5. Good lord, I have rolled a lot of 1s here. 1 plus 5 is a 6. Germans roll. 3 plus 2 is a 5. So, no, they don't get to me. That is very annoying. One, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight. Cause three to attack that hex. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then one, two, three. So that would be plus three minus one, plus two to plus two. Get an assault. Run out of units to defend things. My problem. One, two, three, four, five. It's going to go there. Um, well, let's go back to the north. Let's see if the fourth guard's tank army is any better. I'm going to activate him. I'm down to 25 now. Um, one, two, three. One, two, three. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six to twenty two thirty nine. And then attack the eleventh at plus three or plus two to plus two. That costs one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have two bullet points left. And it's only plus two to plus two. And the Russians roll. 6 plus 2 is an 8. Germans are all. 6 plus 2 is an 8. That doesn't go anywhere. Uh, the Russians are getting stymied just like the West was. Um, well, since I used this partisan's mark and I'm trying to get like a step on him or something. I think I need to try and attack him again. So I'm going to activate this guard's army. And this shock army. We're going to do an assault this time. This guy goes one, two, three, four, five. And assaults the panzer. And then this shock army goes one, two, three. Assaults the panzer. And on the faction card... I have one tanks marker left, so I'll go ahead and use it so that I'm plus three, plus four, plus five, minus one for the river. I'm plus four to his plus two again. And that's all I can do because I don't have any other things to play. So let's see what happens. Russians roll at plus four. A one plus four is a five. The Germans, the minimum they can get is a four. They get a four. Plus two is a six. So they stop that attack as well. That's my alarm, so I'm going to turn it off. And we're gonna break um, break the combat here. That is the uh, this up. So that is the first part of the Russian operations phase. It is just about over. I think I might have one or two more attacks or moves, things like that. Um, and Drone 608, if you like my videos, please subscribe so you don't miss any future episodes. Uh, we will return with the rest of the Soviet turn and um, the end of turn phases. We'll probably be rolled on to the next video. Until then, bye-bye.